minutes past the uh, 11 o'clock in Tokyo time. Hi, hello again from uh, Tsukiji, Tokyo. Okay. <laughs> I don't know who's watching, but okay. Alright, so let me know who you are, and then like I'll talk to you too. So. Alright, okay, it's been what, about like a three weeks since the last uh, the live, I guess. And uh, I'm so appreciated that we purchased that uh, my the salmon uh, movie thing. And yeah, hopefully you like it. Yeah. I don't know how many, 30, almost like a 40 people. Uh, hope you like it. Yeah. Right, so like, but it's like uh, those are not like uh, permanent anyway. So it's like uh, those are just gonna be updated. Yeah. I mean, the good, good way. All right, it's so like you know, it's like if you have some question, I'm gonna add more on if they revise it and the. Uh, Edit it more and uh, I'll send it out more stuff. Okay. All right. And also, uh, right now, like we recording actually the how to prepare like a sushi rice and stuff. Those the basic part. Uh, and uh, our Tsukiji staff member is actually start editing. Okay. And then probably we might be able to release. Probably by like a couple weeks, I guess. Yes, end of this month. Probably end of this month. Okay. Alright, but anyway, okay, whoever, okay, like, go ahead, please shoot, okay. Natsumi made a, handmade it, uh, okay, the barner, that's like, okay, www.tsavideos.com, and go ahead, look for it, uh, any updates. Alright, anyway, alright, let's try to do it, uh, some basic, okay, the plating technique today. It's called a Sanmai Oroshi, three pieces of plating, okay, just like, Okay, right hand side of me, left hand side of me, and the bone, okay? Three plating technique, okay? I am going to use a seasonal fish, it's called the Isaki, okay, in Japanese, okay? This is a, the, well, technically, yeah, it's probably might be hard to see it, but there's like a, kind of, the three line patterns right there, okay? That's called the three lines, but, okay, technically this is called a grunt fish, okay? It's grunt, okay? Alright. So, I'll show you the whole procedure, okay, it doesn't have that much time, but uh, let me show you, and then, okay, let me fillet this, and cut it for the sushi piece, and uh, let me try to make the sushi, okay, because that's going to be the whole bundle for today, okay, and uh, whatever you're watching, okay, it's like, I heard, like, our Tsukiji staff member say, like, today, okay, we're not going to release any archives, so, <laughs> whoever watching live, okay, you are the one. And like you're not, you're not, you won't be able to see it again. So, okay, pay attention and okay? don't leave. Okay, stay tuned. All right, all right. Let's try to okay work on here. Okay, I uh, hopefully everybody's ready. All right, first thing. Okay, there's a bunch of the scales on it. So like we're going to okay, get rid of the, all the scales gently. Okay. All right. Let me move on to the sink a little bit. Okay, follow me, guys. All right, when you descale it, okay, make sure like you're going to descale from tail towards the head. So for the right-handers, okay, you hold in the head, and you're going to descale from tail towards the head. Okay, and like hopefully your sink is big enough for it. All right. When you descale it, make sure like okay, you're going to clean up nicely along by the okay, the fins, okay, because the those part is actually you're going to apply it to the knife. Okay, so like where is it the knife going to travel? Yeah, so, like you're going to take it gently and okay, make sure you got to clean up good. Okay. I guess everybody's quiet today, huh? Nobody say mm -hmm. hi. We know where we're going. Wait, I wait. <laughs> Oh, 
カザフスタンカザフスタンはロシア語しゃべるのかなスパシーバー<笑>
you actually hold the old gut and the hips together. I said, how are you going to take the, the gut and the head, everything off together? Okay. All right, then, okay, next step. Okay, this is like the okay, main of the spleen over here. Okay, so, like, you're going to just okay, split the, the belly skin and you reach to the main spleen. Okay, so, like, you're going to just uh, okay, scrap up the spleen. Okay, to pull it up. All right, then, one, one more time, we move to the sink and it clean up okay, inside of the belly. We're going to use a special tool called the sasara. This is the bamboo the brush. Okay, those bamboo brush, and we're going to just uh, okay, scrape it inside of the belly to clean up the okay, the all the spleen. Okay, but make sure okay, this water is too much pressure over to the fish. So okay, you're just going to okay, apply it the water over to your finger. Okay, then use the brush. Of course, you can use the toothbrush, okay? Not yours, okay? But like you, you can purchase like a new toothbrush and you can go ahead and clean it the same way too. Okay? You not necessarily the purchase, but yeah, these are the pretty useful for like the most of the sushi chef. Originally, this is a Chinese tool. Okay? All right. At the same time, you can go ahead and clean up the inside of the belly, okay? Gently. That's the how you prepare the fish ready for filet. Naga, what do you think about the bluefin tuna price, dear? <laughs> huh? That doesn't relate it to. <laughs> Slide it. Okay. Slide it. Okay. A little more deeper. Okay. 
and like your knife's gonna be set on the bone and slide it, and you just so you can knife is kind of lightly bump it. You don't need any power, okay? You don't need any hand force. Okay, just a little sit on the bone. Okay, only a few times is fine. Okay, I'll just uh, you know make sure like you guys you know, only have one chance. So like I just did it. All right, once you reach uh, the main spine, okay, you can stop it. Then you can go ahead and turn it. Okay, now it's like we're gonna do the back side. Okay. All right, same idea. You're gonna cut the skin first. And go ahead, let it sit your knife, okay, down on the, on the bone, and you're just going to slide it, okay. Alright, I'm going to cut the skin, alright, a little entry. Alright, then I'm going to use it to my tip of your knife, okay, just going to let it sit on the bone and slide it. Alright, a little more deeper, okay. My knife is out, and my knife, knife tip is already reached to the backbone. So like just let you know, make sure. Okay. For this kind of fish, there's the pin bones located by the, the belly bones right there. Okay, but there's no pin bones, it is on the, the tail side. So right here is okay, it's actually already go through. Your knife is gonna go through because no bone. Okay. Alright, so now you're gonna flip it. Okay, and you can slide your knife towards the head, okay? Okay, then it's like your knife's gonna be probably hit against to the pin bones right there. Okay, so to make sure like you're going to hold the, the tail, okay? Then you're just going to slide your knife, okay, towards to you, kind of, okay? Don't just slide it towards the head, okay? Kind of slide your knife, try to use the whole length of your knife, okay? To detach the bones up. Can say 10 days from Canada. From Canada. Okay. All right. Now, okay, you're going to apply the knife underneath of the meat again, and you're going to detach the tail. Okay. That's the, how you're going to play the fish. Okay. Gently. Okay. All right. Basically, you're not. Okay. I'll show you without it, the meat. All right. So first, okay. You're going to cut the skin first. All right, then you actually try to leave your knife on the bone and you just want to slide it, okay? Slide it deeper, okay? Once you hit knife tip, start hitting through the main spine, okay? You can stop it and then you want to turn it. All right, you're going to do exactly the same thing, okay? All right, you're going to cut the skin first. Then, okay? Tip of your knife is going to be set onto the bone, and you're just going to slide your knife all the way towards the head, okay? By the main spine. All right, pin bone was over here, okay? Pin bone was hitting towards the skin, okay? So, but there's no pin bones here. So, like, uh, that's why I slide it in my knife, okay? Turn it, okay? Once I, my knife hits you, the pin bones. I'm going to slide my knife towards the tip to detach the pin bones. Okay, that's the, how I did it. Alright, that's for the bottom meats. Alright, let me do it for the upper side of meats. Okay. I think it's exactly the same. Okay, now we're going to do the back first. Okay. Right, cut the skin first. Same idea. You leave your knife down against the bone, okay, and you're going to slide it. Okay. Deeper. Okay. I'm not holding my knife not too hard. Okay. So once your knife hit all the way against the pin bones and the back bone, okay, you're done. And you switch to and you're going to play the bottom side, the okay, belly side. Alright. Bone is only up to here, okay, not all the way here, okay, only here. So I'm going to cut the skin first. Okay. Alright, you're gonna use the tip of your knife, okay, look for the bone, let it sit, slide it, okay, slide all the way up to the back spot. Alright, again, pin bone is, is only here, up to here. 
no pin bones here, so it's a little magic. Okay? There's no pin bones. My knife can go through easy. Alright, then you have to squeeze it in. Okay? And slide my knife okay? up to the okay, hit the pin bones. Alright, now okay, same thing. Okay? You hold the tail. How you're going to play the three pieces. Okay. Okay. So, okay, here's like bottom, upper, and the bone. Three pieces. Okay. We call it a samai oroshi. Okay. Yes. Mahalo. Mahalo. Huh? Mahalo. Mahalo from Hawaii. Hello. Oh, and Netherlands, Singapore. Indiana, USA. Oh, aloha. <laughs> Mahalo. I don't know. Question. Can we cook the milk and the raw of isaki? Oh, no. oh, the milk. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I'm sure they, like, we don't eat the milk part. Okay? We eat the milk only for certain fish. Okay? Uh, like a uh, cockfish or even like a puffer fish, all those. But the isaki, mm, Technically, yes, but it probably, you know, we don't usually use it. Just let you know. Alright, let me actually find my... This is a Nepal. Nepal! Nepal! Nepal is what? I don't know. I'm sorry. Alright, okay. After you played it, the fish. Okay. Alright, now still at the belly bones right there. Okay, so that's what we're going to okay, shave it off. All right, you always leave it close to the front edge. Okay. Front edge. Okay. Right handers, you want to shave it towards to the left. Okay, left handers opposite. Okay. All right, let's do from the bottom meats. All right, so here's the pin bones and belly bone is together. Okay, so like you're going to detach, okay, you're going to detach off those two bones with the tip of your knife, okay, we call this called a sakasa bocho, okay, you detach those. Alright, then you're going to slice your knife, okay, towards to the belly, okay, don't lose too much meat, okay, you're going to slice your knife underneath of the bones, underneath of the bones, underneath of the bones, for the upper meats, okay? Alright, you're going to detach those bones together first. Next work, okay, you're going to take the pin bones off. Okay. Pin bones. Alright, for this fish, grunt fish, okay, pin bones is located on along by the back spine. Okay, so like you're just going to take the pin bones off towards the head. There's a few bones on the head side. Take care of these bone one by one gently. Believe me, if you're working for a sushi bar, okay, if the customer find out the one bone, okay, maybe you gotta buy their dinner. Alright, that's the how you're going to clean up the bones. Alright, let's do the same thing for the bottom meats too. Okay. Leave the heads, okay, wait 
force to my right hand side. What are you going to do with the head and the middle bone? Um, isaki is actually, is, even you deep fry it, it's uh, really hard to cook it. Okay? So like we don't do anything. Okay? And uh, even you try to take the broth off from it, just one isaki, that's kind of tough. So usually the head part, we actually braise them and uh, eat for the employee meal. Okay? You're not serving. All right, so most of the okay, work is done. Okay, one more thing. There's a skin on it. Okay, so we're going to de-skin those. Okay. All right, so okay. you maybe close towards your the cutting board. Okay, all right. When you de-skin it, okay, make sure you're going to de-skin from okay, tail towards the head. Okay, so this one, okay, I'm going to do the out, outside work. Okay, but even you can do from like in work too. Okay. Most of the sushi chef they do the de skin with the in work. Okay. Japanese cuisine chef okay, usually do the outwards. So let me show you. Alright, so you're going to cut it up to down by the skin. Alright, then you're going to slide your knife right underneath, okay, right in between the, the skin and the meat, flesh, okay? All right, you're going to hold the skin, okay? If you do the outwards, you're going to, okay, kind of give it a little vibration against the skin. At the same time, just to go ahead and push your knife towards the head, okay, gently. sound. Alright, that's the how you're going to de okay. Okay. Maybe I'm going to turn my off on my screen. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me do it the, the other way too. Okay. So that was the outwards. Let me do it the inwards. Okay. If you come to school, okay, I'll show you all those and you go and practice your own. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so Inwards, okay, most of the sushi chef way, okay, opposite, okay, so like, but it's not a harakiri, so, yeah, make sure, okay, cut it down by the skin, okay, you're going to slide your knife in, okay, this time, you're going to hold the skin tight, okay, but this time, okay, you're going to only move your knife, okay, you hold the skin, okay, the skin's going to stay on, that the, your the cutting board, okay, then you're going to slide your knife, okay, gently. Okay. That's the sushi chef way, inwards.
keep it and push on to 10 degrees all the time. Yeah. Mm. Before you fillet. Does that condition change if the cooking changed? Well, yeah, you know, of course. But, but the, for the sushi, it's, uh, you try to actually keep it not too cold, but like, you know, 10 degrees all the time. Because the sushi is a little bit different. When you're serving, okay, certain fish, actually we cut it to slices and leave it up on your cutting board for a while. Okay. Then like, the, just so the fish is going to be a little bit warm up. Then like uh, at the same time, okay, it's like the best condition to serve to the customer is like close to like body temperature, the body temperature. Okay. So like you actually, you know, leave it up here for a while and the fish gets a little warm. And like when you make a nigiri and serve it to the customer, and the customer can easy to enjoy more of the fattening of the fish itself. And okay. that's the how you serve it. Right. Say hi to Russia. Russia. YouTube の方、カナダ、カナダ、カナダ、イジェプト、イジェプト、香港、香港、おはよう、おはよう、おはよう、モロッコ、モロッコ、モロッコはモロッコはなんだ、え、ニッコ、ニッコ、ニッコ、ニッコ、ニッコ、栃木、あ、栃木、はい、はい、ちょっとね。フロリダ。フロリダ。フロリダ。フロリダ。フロリダ。フロリダ。フロリダ。フロリダ。All right, so this is uh, the right hand side of the meats. We call it the bottom meats. Okay, general ground roll. General ground roll. Now, of course, there's a, the optional thing, but okay. So these fish, okay, is bottom meats. When you're making sushi, skin side, gonna be down. For the right handers, you leave your, the tail side towards your left. Okay. All right, then this. Head angle, okay, when, you, when, we, when I cut it off the heads, okay, so this angle right there, okay, that's a, the, the direction how you're going to cut this fish, okay. Opposite side meets, it's going to be the, the other way because the head angle is going to be different, right? The reason is, okay, if I start cutting this fish this way, I'm going to have a lot of the waste over here, okay. So, This head angle is super important. Okay, so like we're going to cut. Okay, follow this angle. Okay, that's what the sushi chef. Okay, always try to kind of use it, your knife kind of uh, perpendicular to the okay, your cutting board. Okay, so okay, if I stand over here cutting that way, it's kind of uh, pretty ugly, right? Okay, that's why we actually leave it a little bit upwards, and then we cut it this way.
Question. What the question itself is, is the blood bone caused by itself, meaning the pin bones and the chair part? The pin bones. Well, if you take it gently, it won't break them up. Uh, the, 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 the chair part, you mean? The, the, the blood part? The blood part, yeah, that's supposed to be on there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially this fish is like, okay, you're going to use it the full length of your, the fish board, okay? We actually leave this blood part on it. Okay. But like if you go to the bigger fish, okay, we separate it actually like a, you know more even if like one side of the body is separate off like a belly and the back. Okay, that way the flay technique is going to be a little bit different too. Okay, so okay, those things you're going to learn with me over here. And there's no bone there, right? No we bone already there. took off everything. Yes. All right. Okay. So let's try to make the sushi palm right here. Okay. I made it uh, my sushi rice a little, a little bit earlier, okay, about like an hour ago. Alright, okay, so vinegar water, it's called tizu, okay. Alright, you're just going to wet it, okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, then pick up the rice. So when you, okay, like, this is the sushi pocket, okay. Sushi pocket spot is right there on like, where you're just, the third joint and right by the palm. Okay, that's your the sushi pocket is. Okay, that's where the like your the fish is gonna be stay on. Okay, outside is gonna be stay against it. Right. At the same time, okay, your right hand is gonna be pick up the rice. Okay, pick up the rice, pick up the pieces. Okay, right, and pick up the wasabi. Okay, and place it down and right in the middle. I'll do it the first piece a little bit slowly, okay? All right, so you're gonna place your the thumb, okay? This thumb right there to hold the little belly button. At the same time, you avoid, the right's gonna be stretching the forward and it could force you, okay, you're holding it. All right, then you place your index finger down, okay? To make it a little bit kind of the leg, okay? On at the both side of the right. So it's make it a little concave in the middle. Okay, then once you place your finger in, index finger in, you want to close your, the, your palm a little bit. Okay, so fish is going to be stay stick towards to the, okay, your right for you. Then you're going to rotate it, okay, push towards the fingertips. All right, now you're going to close your, the fish and uh, those two legs of the rice. Close it with the, your middle finger and the thumb. All right, then you bring it back to the okay, sushi pocket right there. All right, then you're gonna do the three motion together. Okay, thumb's gonna be go underneath of the fish. You're going to fold them up your, the, those four fingertips. At the same time, okay, you're going to cover up your finger to closure. Okay, so all those, those the, okay, it seems like complicated, but okay, those are just all the sushi chef does. Okay, all right, let me do. Okay, my hands get dry. Okay, so here, okay, thumb goes underneath of the fish, fingers gonna be folded up, right, and it's like it, those two fingers gonna be covered closely. Okay, all right, then it opens up. All right, now you're going to rotate clockwise and do it the side closure first. Okay. Then, like your the thumbs goes on to the underneath of the fish again. Okay. 
your fingers gonna be folded up and like two fingers gonna be covered up on top. Okay? Then sushi's gonna be ready right there. Alright, let me pick up the speed a little bit. Okay? It's really hard to show everything and slowly. Okay. <laughs> All right, okay, so you pick up the okay, certain good amount of the rice. At the same time, you're going to pick up your fish with the left. Okay, so you're going to pick up the fish with the left. Okay, so you're going to pick up the fish Well, it depends on the size, but this the isaki was uh, about 600 grams, so I probably can make. Basically, try to close those legs with the side pressure. Okay, then close the top, side pressure, close the top. top. Okay, that's just how you're going to make the okay. pretty classic technique. Okay. Alright, let me try to finalize it. Okay. So this is a well, just example of the isaki, okay? the sushi. Okay? Only five pieces, but okay? this is for my lunch, I guess. Okay? All right. Well, thanks for watching for the live. Okay, and uh, keep staying with us. And also, okay, whoever interested in that, our the sushi thing, okay, you can also purchase uh, our the little video talking about the, all the details. Okay. We only released the only salmon so far, but uh, we already started taking for the next uh, two uh, different kind of edition for it, making sushi part and something else too. So, okay. and uh, keep updated all the time. All right, so thank you for watching. Stay with us, okay? All right, see you next time, Phil. I'll see you, okay?